Okay, let's drape this little puppy. I'm gonna show a close up of this here. Uh, this red is a good example of what we're going to drape here. And the first place we're going to start is we're going to start on the straight of the fabric. Well, actually, the first place we're going to start is that I've taken part of the Vogue patterns right here, the midriff, because I need to find this line right here. I also need to find this line because we're going to put a dart on it because I think I had that drawn in the sketch. So here we are on the straight of the fabric, and I'm going to drape this all the way around here. So I'm going to drape it so it's all the way to the side. And by the way, this is exactly the way they do at the ateliers in Paris. In Paris, I just want this to be fairly smooth across here. It doesn't have to be real smooth because it's going to come down at an angle like that. Uh, actually, it comes down at a little bit deeper angle. So, that'll be the first thing we'll do here because, and you know what, I like to use a number, a real soft pencil because it makes a nice dark line. So, here's our shoulder seam which I've got marked up here. And then just draw a line, you know, that's fairly similar to that angle right there. If you need to, bring it up here. Kind of look at your angle right there it is and then just draw it there's your angle but you know what remember this is what you're doing for yourself so you can do it any old way you want to and then take your scissors here and keep this as a reference but basically that basically this is two pieces here here is this piece it's going to come down under the arm but over the bust point so it, and it's going to come into the side seam. So here's our best point right here, and it's going to come over into the side seam right here. So I've got it right where it needs to go. I'm just going to cut this out a little bit bigger than the seam allowance because this is going to allow us to drape the rest of it. Okay, there we go. Now let's go ahead and mark in the rest of this right here. And uh, I'm on the side seam right there. Okay. So let me curve this out. You kind of have to curve a little bit of this. And if you don't want to cut a seam allowance, you don't have to. Because then you can add it in the pay it pattern later. Whatever you want, it will drape a little bit better. You need a mannequin that you can uh, drape to or you can pin to and um, a wolf mannequin is the premier mannequin that that most designers use but it's one size I use a uniquely you because I can convert it this is a canvas right here and I can make that fit any way I want okay uh, here we're making the dart. You can see right there. We're going to make another dart right here. We may cut this down after we finished. Okay, now then, where's my pencil? I would lose my head. Here it is. And underneath, I can catch that seam line on that pattern piece. And that's the seam line right there. I'm just going to mark center front on here because it just makes it so much easier. Okay, now then, I'm going to cut a majority of this off right here. There we go. Okay. That's okay, so here I am back. I've sewn this all up, pressed it. This is on the bias right here, so this will stretch a little bit. Uh, you may need to put a stay tape in there to keep that from stretching because you don't want, you really don't want this part to stretch. The next part you do want to, you don't want it necessarily to stretch, but you want it to drape. 
Okay, so here we have this on the bias like this. You can tell because it has give on it. And checking the picture here. We folded this over so that we're on the seam line and then this piece drapes over like this and goes into the side seam like this. Right. And what we want this piece to do is drape like this. So that you have two or three pieces. I think that's a little loose. This is what draping does for you. I think we need to make that a little bit more firm like that. There you go. And there is a little pleat in there like that so that then this piece drapes around like this. So now what happens is this, now that we have this all set up, you can have this piece kind of curved down. And the nice thing about having this piece underneath here is this acts as a bit of a stay or a base from which now you can make the whole design come true. And we need to take a little dart right here. I need to do some cutting first of all so I can kind of see where I am. Okay, now then you can take your pencil again and we have two darts right here. One doesn't have to be all that big. And we want these darts to end up right where that seam is, right there. And same thing over here. Okay, so now I've sewn it up and we've put it on here. Uh, there are a couple of things left to do. And one is don't try and fit too closely here. I don't, I don't think this dress looks good that way. The other is I really do recommend you keep this stay in here, the whole piece. It's going to make it a little thicker. It, it will indeed. But uh, the other side of the coin is that this affords you the opportunity, and you can see I have a pin right here. All you really need to do is do just a simple stay stitch, right, probably right about right here. This hangs loose then, and look, this all falls just like it's supposed to. I have a little bit of a tuck up here, and 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 as far as how you want this to do, let the fabric kind of tell you. When when I did the drape across here, I just kind of tucked this the way it wanted to be draped. And you end up looking very close to what you have here. The only difference is you don't have a lot of the pull across here. <laughs> so that's how you drape this. You start with the under piece all the way over, and then you start with the piece. You just you want this part to be on the bias so it'll drape nicely. Then after you finish putting it on, tack it into place right here. You're going to sew up your side seams here. You're going to sew the little uh, kind of flange piece on right here. Sew the rest of the dress up right there, and it's done. Now, the pattern, the Vogue pattern, can be made in a woven fabric. So this is fabulous if you want to make this with like an iridescent silk. And I've done the same thing. I haven't tried to use a, a, a stretchy fabric here. So you can use a woven fabric with this piece. Um, of course, after you finish doing all of this, what you want to do next is you want to take all the stitching out, mark where your darts are, your, 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 your buzz point, your side seams. This becomes your pattern piece. And you're done. It's really, really easy. It's not that difficult. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that.